Hey Scorpio, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your weekly love reading the week of July 11th through the 20th. It's a 10 day forecast for Scorpio Sun, Moon Rising or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. So do listen to your other signs to see if you can uh, get a complete picture. If you'd like to get a personal reading for me, of course, you can always click on one of the links in the description box below um, to get your readings. Okay, Scorpio, what is the energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for July 11th through the 20th? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, that's beautiful. The Eight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, what's going on? A lot of pentacle energy here. Serious business. The four of wands. The eight of wands. Nice, nice, nice. And the page of wands. So we're dealing with um, a lot of fire and earth energy. Okay. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a person. I don't, I, I don't have a person. <clears throat> There's no major arcana cards. So we're dealing with energies that are fluid and can be, uh, you know, you, you're in pretty much control of these energies that are playing out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been talking and so I'm having trouble talking. Okay. There's an offer coming in, uh, Scorpio, for you guys for this 10 day. Um, for some of you, it could be a job offer, a promotion, someone wanting to uh, maybe invest in something, okay? Um, this can also be an offer for a date, okay? Because sometimes I know it's strange, but when I look at this card, I see that coin. Sometimes that's a plate, like, do you want to go out to eat? That kind of thing. Um, and I, I feel like you're, um, I'm seeing, so in a nutshell, I'm seeing effort put in, there's um, something to do with commitment, marriage, family, celebration. Okay, some of you may be visiting family during this 10-day period or celebrating. Some of you may be going to wedding. It could be a proposal. This could be, uh, you know, this offer comes through with some, you know, something of value, something tangible, like it could be a piece of jewelry um, that either you receive or you give to someone you make an offer of some sort someone wants to work on a relationship really is focused on this putting this effort in um working very hard and it's like they're they're just so focused like blinders are on this is just you know the energy of what's coming through someone wants okay there can be a bit of um uh wanting to be seen wanting to be acknowledged, willing to learn something new, willing to, um, you know, like the card before this would be the two of pentacles where it's, you know, trying to weigh options. And now it's like the choice is made. And now that the work is getting put in here, uh, someone is, there could be some showing off. Someone wants to show off or, uh, you know, someone's watching you or you're watching someone as well, watching to see what you do or what they're going to do or what's going on with them. But it's like really collecting serious information, really collecting information. Okay. And you might be trying to perform. You could be performing something. There's messages here with the eight of wands and the page of wands coming through during this time period. This is swift action, swift news. This can be Cupid's arrows. There's love coming to you. Um, this could be connections, making connections with someone, you receiving news or someone bringing you news, either about uh, you could receive news that someone's getting married. <clears throat> Sorry. I have such a cough. You could receive news that someone's getting married or you could be receiving news that you, the proposal comes in that you want, that this is something that someone wants, but this is more, it's less lovey dovey. It's less emotional. This is serious business. 
This is action and seriousness this week. Um, and the page of wands, this is excitement. Okay. Uh, this is uh, feeling very energized about this situation, feeling, you know, like a child going out to play, you know, he gets home from school, throws his books down and runs outside to get his, you know, his bat and ball or whatever, get his bike. He wants to go out and play. He wants to go out and have fun. This is really exciting and fun. And, you know, wanting to play games or wanting to um, just really having a pep in your step, feeling very energized for these next 10 days. And I, I do kind of feel like you want to be seen. You want someone to see you. You're going to be in performance mode, kind of showing off a little bit to get that recognition and acknowledgement. Now, let's see. I want to clarify. I don't usually clarify um, the minor arcana cards. However, I feel like I don't have much more to say about your reading in the sense because it's so good. Um, I just feel like you're going to get, <clears throat> excuse me, messages from someone who wants to make a proposal or an offer of some kind, maybe to go on a date or, um, you know, go out to dinner or go do something wonderful. <clears throat> this is a new beginning. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, happening here for you. This can have something to do with an Aquarius, a Scorp another Scorpio, uh, a Leo, or um, a Taurus. Okay. It could be coming from them, or uh, of course it's coming from you. Um, but yeah, the world, it, the world, this can be online as well, because sometimes that car can, you know, I, I can sometimes see it as the World Wide web, internet, um, talking on the internet, things like that chatting with people. If, you know, if you're single and trying to meet someone, you know, there's a, there, there's something that gets started for this next 10 days. Okay. Uh, this is, it, it's definitely a new beginning. I feel like, you know, whoever this person is, uh, is kind of like, this could be travel. So this could be someone, either you traveling or another person traveling to you to make this offer. Uh, like I said, some of you could be going to traveling somewhere, traveling home, traveling to a family event or a wedding or some type of a celebration. Now, please remember, some of these energies may have already occurred. Uh, the time I'm putting this video out is July 5th. So some of you could be indulging in this right now. It could be happening to you right now, or it could come after the 20th. So let me just clarify one more time the world card. Okay. Thank the Lord, because the seven of swords showed up in reverse for that. So this is a truthful thing. This is a an honest, truthful, real deal. <clears throat> Sorry, you don't need to question this. Okay. Let's pull clarifying cards for each one just to see what the rest of the information is. So you've got, this is a very balanced thing. Okay. Someone's willing to put the pour their, pour their emotional energy into you and you're, you're willing to receive it or vice versa. Okay. You know what? The devil card is here and considering how the other cards are playing out, this is a very deep attraction. It could be a very strong sexual attraction that's occurring here. Um, something that you cannot let go of. Uh, for some, this could be a Capricorn. We could have Sagittarius happening here. Um, but this is an attraction to this other person. You're just like kind of showing off maybe, you know, either getting your hair done or you're, you know, performing in some way or, you know, you're, or you will be, in, or you'll meet this person and, you know, really do yourself up. And, and there's like you, you because there's just, they, this person will be extremely attracted to you, but I'm, I'm, there's a lot of sex here. There could be some drinking involved or, you know, I guess you could say, uh, extracurricular activities. Um, but there's, you know, this, the devil card, you know, is, is not always a bad card. It just really depends on the other cards in the reading and the messages that are coming out. But I'm seeing some type of a bond with someone that has not been broken, that cannot be broken with this person or that, you know, you come to realize 
which can cause this desire to, if it's a proposal or if it's about marriage or commitment, which can bring this about, okay? Messages about that and so much excitement. And, and some of you will just be having this overwhelming feeling that you've met the one for you. Okay, Page of Pentacles. And I was actually thinking of this card when I was pulling the Ace of Pentacles. So here it is again. Some t there's someone placing another person on high value uh, in a high value status, holding that coin up as if like honoring it in such a way. And messages about that, how um, someone will send messages about how, you know, definitely messages about a date or messages about some type of an offer. This here is the overall energy and this is what can actually be occurring. So again, with the coin, being equivalent to a plate for me. I just feel like some of you are actually going to be, you know, meeting someone. You could be meeting someone online or someone from across the world or someone just a distance to you. That energy could be playing out or like I said, was or will be later. Page of Wands. Oh my goodness. A Ten of Cups. Yeah. Happy family. Look at this. This is marriage, happy family. Uh, it's celebrating, like just finding that peace and happiness finally for you, okay? Or just the, it's the renewal of a connection that you have had with someone where, you know, something in the past has ended. The, this chapter, the chapter that the two of you, you know, that train that you were on together has now ended. You know, if it was negative, then that's over. And um, there's now the world is at your feet. Now there's this new beginning for you, you guys to have something wonderful to happen. Okay. Um, celebrating family, children, really <laughs> the two of cups over the four of wands. Okay. This person is your soulmate. And okay. So you're like, what's that mean? Okay. Soulmate energy is really just means, and I, I believe I was talking about this in the Libra reading. Soulmate energy is two people who are on the same page. Um, however, they learn things from each other. And sometimes it's difficult um, because there's growth and healing. And, and I feel like there's going to be healing. A marriage will get healed, okay? <clears throat> or some type of a, a family situation or a relationship. You, some of you may meet someone at an event or a wedding. But th the two people here, you can see it's kind of similar. You've got these two people. You, some of you, a lot of you, I feel like already know who this person is. Okay, this could be um, another water sign energy for you. I don't necessarily uh, feel like this is someone from your deep, deep past, like your childhood, but I feel like you know who this person is, okay? And it could be for some, for others, but this soulmate energy is like, I feel like you both finally come to a, a place here. Um, if this is, if you, you know, if there's someone that you have on your mind, I feel like it's, look at the, some of you could be a Leo also, but you see, there's healing. There's healing happening here. There's two people. And it's more so, as I said before, this, this guy here, he's more in movement than her. So it's an offer or of accepting, you know, he's holding his cup out, but he's willing to take hers now, you know, so that kind of energy, there's so much greatness happening here for these 10 days. And I feel like the last few readings lately have been kind of tough, but these 10 days, the 11th through the 20th, I'm, I'm just seeing, I'm seeing so many in so many things in the way of twos. You see those two cups there? This is pouring the emotions into each other. One person emptying their cup of love and emotion into someone else's cup. And then they will, there will be exchange. And this is balance and harmony. And then you've got twos here with the devil card, two people who are just, you know, tied together, they're bound together, no, no matter whether they're together or not, they're bound together by a, a very strong force, okay? And twos here, where these two people are, this is a healing energy. You know, there's two people here too, celebrating 
the this family situation there's lots of ma- messages i'm just feeling like there's there's ch- there's a playfulness childlike playfulness to this connection so let me pull a card from my romance angels oracle deck to see what the love advice and guidance is for these 10 days i feel like your video is just kind of short but i mean when they're so good how much more expansion do we need? I will try to pick up a couple of other things, though. And please know that if I if you're a sign that I didn't list here, it doesn't mean that it's not for you. Okay, I just pulled out some of the signs that I saw from the Major Arcana uh, for some of you who just need extra clarification. Okay, this just fell out. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So that's really just your advice, your love and guidance advice for this time is really just to, you know, be happy with who you are, you know, and I feel like loving yourself, really accepting yourself and loving yourself and being at peace with yourself is what's going to bring all this energy to you, you know, because you're worthy and you're valuable, right? And someone else thinks that about you as well. Okay. And also, you know, uh, for some of you Scorpios, this could be you also uh, presenting this energy to another person. Okay. Um, it may, it, you know, it could go both ways. It could absolutely be that you're getting this from someone, but you're, you could also be presenting this to another person that you might be making an offer to someone because, you know, you realize how attached you are to a particular person. I'm not saying that this is your advice to do that. I'm just saying that this is what I'm picking up in this reading. Um, there's reciprocity here. You may, you know, finally end a cycle and a chapter in your life from the past and are ready now to move on and meet someone else. And the energy is ripe for that to happen for you. Um, I feel like you're, you probably have gotten honest with yourself about some things and still everything else that I said, it could be you the, is the one who's doing this. So it really just depends. It could be either way. Okay. Um, but the most important thing for you to remember is to keep loving yourself, value yourself. You know, don't let the opinions of other people put you, you know, take you down. Know who you are. Be strong with yourself and gentle with yourself. And, and because this is what makes you very attractive. And this could be what's bringing all this to you. Okay, Scorpio. So that was your reading. I wish you much happiness and all the best. And I will see you guys sometime in a few weeks. All right. Take care. Bye.